By putting megalev trains inside a vacuum tube, it would allow for trains to travel over 1,000 miles per hour. It's called evacuated tube transportation. These evacuated tubes can be put underground. Not with tunnels, but by digging a hole and burying them just under the frost line. The tubes can be run down the median of interstates to get them into big cities just under the surface. 40% of your car's fuel is consumed just by moving air out of the way at cruising speeds. And as your car's speed doubles from there, that number grows exponentially. The Megalaf rail could on trains or solo cars with its automation system. So at local hubs, future cars can hop on the specialized rail and put their wheels up. And you can sit back and relax while you cruise to your destination without stops. The rail can bank up to 90 degrees with the tube and more maneuverable turns are allowed especially underground. The rails can be stacked too to squeeze into narrow medians or spaces. Freight could be transported over the lines without the use of the driver. By having a semi-evacuated tube of four atmospheres, that's more air than there is on Mount Everest's peak, it would still allow for 1,000 miles per hour speed still, on minimal power. So if your pressurized car lost its pressurization, you would be okay. You would not be climbing a mountain, so your body would get enough oxygen. Even if they were not semi-evacuated tubes, these tube rails would be useful for automated driving. And turbine-generated cars could run on these rails and never have to be fueled. There would be no need for bridges over these underground evacuated tubes. That would save big money compared to all elevated rail that is exposed to the weather.